I filmed this sort of fall, not sort of, it is a fall makeup look. Um, it's kind of just like a warm, orangey brown, smoky eye. And then I just kind of matched the lips to the eyes. I kind of took inspiration from when the leaves change colors in the fall and they just get that really pretty like rust color. It's my favorite color ever. Um, so I tried to incorporate that in this look. So if you want to learn how to do this and see what products I use and everything, I kind of tried to walk you through everything I used and all that. So yeah, so if you want to see how I did this, then just keep watching. All right, so first we're going to start with priming our face. So I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Hangover Primer. And then I'm going to go in with, also Too Faced, the Born This Way Foundation. It's probably my favorite foundation right now. Um, it's like a medium coverage. Um, and it's more of a dewy coverage, so if you're oily, you might not like it as much. And I do have a little bit of fake tanner on, so this is a little bit darker than my face. I'm just going to bring that under my neck a little bit as well. I always want to put the most foundation more in the center and then bring it out towards the edges of my face just so I'm not getting a ton of it in my hair. So I'm going to stay away from the areas right underneath my eyes because um, I'm going to do my eyeshadow and then it won't really matter if I get anything underneath and I can just wipe it away. So I'll go in and do that after. And then I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender and just buff over that and just make sure I get rid of any brush strokes that might be there and just kind of pat this around. You wanna make sure your beauty blender is wet. So you just wanna run it under the sink for a little bit or damp, not soaking wet and squeeze it out. <clears throat> And that'll just kind of make this look more like your skin. And now to prime my eyes, I'm just going to go in with a concealer. This is just the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. So I'm just going to go like that over the, my eyes just to act as a base and cancel out any purpley redness that I might have. I think I'm going to mostly use shadows from the Anastasia Shadow Couture Palette. Um, so I'm probably just going to stay right in this like general area over here, um, just the warm browns and everything. So I'm just going to take this color called Soft Peach, it's just like a skin tone nude color. I'm just going to put that all over my eyes. Um, this is going to help everything blend better and all the other darker eyeshadows just blend better so you don't get any choppiness. And then next I'm going to go in with this warm orangey brown color um, right here. I'm going to keep this mostly on the bottom lid, my lower lid, um, and not bring it up at all. I don't want it to be like a full blown out smoky. I'm going to kind of keep it lower and winged out more. So I'm just going to take this and put most of it right on the outer corner right there and just kind of wiggle it around. I'm just going to make sure to keep it on the lower part of my lid and not bring it up at all. Then I'm going to go back in with that brush that I used Soft Peach on and just wiggle it back and forth a little bit. And then I'm going to take more of a flat top brush. I'm going to take the same color and just kind of map out where I'm going to bring it out because I'm going to bring it out a little bit more. So basically what I'm going to do is just from the top part of my lower lid, I'm just going to draw it out. Just like that. I'm going to make more of a triangle on the outer edge there. And that's just going to map out where I'm going to bring the rest of the colors out to. And then I'm just going to go in and buff those edges out a little bit. And 
basically for underneath I'm just kind of where my under eye is that's about as far down as I'm taking that out at the bottom I'm gonna go in with just the darker color um, fudge underneath that one I'm just gonna put that right on the outer corner there And then I'm just doing a little bit of it um, and just keeping that right on the edge there. I'm just patting it on because that's going to push the most pigment. The more you blend it around, the thinner it's going to get and the less coverage you're going to get from it. Use my favorite color ever. It's from the Melt Lovesick palette, and it's this really, really pretty deep red color. And I'm just gonna take it on the flat brush and just put that all over my lid. This is like the perfect fall color. And just blend it with that red. So I don't think I'm gonna go in with any winged line or anything, mostly because I'm lazy. Um, so in the same palette, they have a black like all the way in the corner. I'm just gonna take an angle brush and just push that down by my lashes over here. Um, because I am going to put false lashes on, so this will just help that blend a little bit better. And then just blend that out with the flat brush again. Basically, you just want to make sure you're blending everything together. I'm just going to brush through my eyebrows real quick. And my hair. So basically my biggest um, problem area with my eyebrows is right on the edges here. Do little strokes. And this will just make it look like natural little hairs that you're drawing on. And then a little bit underneath here. So I'm just going to take it and the way my hair is going, I'm just going to draw them in that direction there. And same with the top. And then I'm going to take the brush end and do just brush through it. So at the end there where I'm kind of lacking some hair, I'm just going to take a pencil. It's a little bit darker and just draw a couple little light lines just to make it match the front. Go in, I'm gonna go in with my concealer underneath my eyes now and just kind of clean up everything I did. So I'm gonna go back in with that Maybelline um, concealer again. So it's pretty much the same color as my foundation. I'm not trying to go any lighter at all. Um, I'm just gonna Bring this underneath my eyes and right in the corners there. Over my nose a little bit because I tend to touch my nose a lot and that's the first place that my makeup usually wipes off. And then I'm going to go back in with my beauty blender and just kind of push that into the skin. The Maybelline one is nice because it's a sponge and it kind of already blends it pretty nicely for you so you don't have to do too much blending and then underneath I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and kind of carve out my shadow where I want it to be so I'm just gonna go in with some mascara first um, and just coat my lashes a little bit with that just because that's going to blend that in with the lashes that you put on then. So 
I already trimmed the lashes to my fit my eyes. Um, the ones I'm going to use, I've actually never used before. They're from Eiler. And they're 121. And you want to let it dry for a while before you try and put it on your eye because if the glue is too wet, then it's going to slide around everywhere and kind of mess up what you're doing and you're going to get glue all over your eye and it's just going to be a mess. So for putting on lashes, I like to hold a mirror just like down below. So I'm looking down. And then you just want to like place your lash. And then I like to take tweezers and just set kind of not poke yourself in the eye and just squeeze the edges down. Next I'm going to do underneath my eye. So I'm just going to go in and line my waterline um, and underneath there with a eye pencil. And this is Teddy from Matt. And I'm just going to run it on my lash line as well, just like back and forth on my lashes. Then I'm going to go in with the same flat top brush that I've been using and just run some of the shadows that I put on the top on the bottom. So I'm just going to use the orangey brown and just start with that one. And try not to make an awful face. I'm just going to take a fluffy brush like this and just set underneath my eyes. This will just make sure that your um, concealer or anything doesn't really move or get creasy um, in the fine lines underneath. So next I'm going to go in with the bronzer and just warm up my face a little bit. I'm not really going to contour it out a whole lot. I'm just going to bronze up most of the my face a little bit more. I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil um, bronzer. I'm just going to start a little bit underneath um, my cheekbone there just to kind of sculpt it out a little bit. And so the next thing I'm going to do is go in with highlight with Urban Decay Sin. I'm just going to take it on a fluffy brush. I'm just going to put it on the tops of my cheekbones and just kind of a lot of other places, a few other places I want to highlight. A little bit right above top of my lip. This is just gonna like lift your lip up a little bit. And a little too much there. And I'm just gonna do right in the top of my nose there and just a little bit right at the bottom. And then I'm just gonna go over with my beauty blender and just kind of Pat that in a little bit so it's not as crazy. I'm not a huge blush fan, so I'm just gonna do like a dab of that. And I'm just gonna take my bronzer um, brush again and just kind of blend over all of that. Right now for the fun part, I'm going to do lips. I think I'm going to use Lolita 2. It's a little bit more orangey. We'll see. We'll see how it goes.
and then you want to get it off your teeth. <laughs> All right, so I think that that is everything. Yeah, thanks for watching.